Hey guys, Tech Control with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate your iPhone 15 Plus with eSIM card as well. So let's get started. So here, as you can see here, I have the new iPhone 15 Plus, which I'm going to show you how you can get started if it's your very first time. Of course, go ahead and take it out of the box here. And we're going to go ahead and power on the device here by simply holding the side button that's available for us on the right hand side. And you're going to hold it until you see the Apple logo and that's how you power on your iPhone basically. So once you have that, it should turn on, give it a few moments to load up and we will wait till we get to the hello screen. And this is a setup is for something, if you're setting up for the very first time, it'll come up to this menu, you're going to swipe up and then select your language here select your country and region and then appearance so if you want a bolder bigger text you can select medium and large whatever your preference is i'm going to leave it as is but that's an option for you and then you can hit continue and then quick setup uh, you can have another device nearby to set up if you have a previous iphone i'm just going to show you if you didn't have another device uh, and then the important part is you need to connect to um, internet somehow either cellular data or through wi-fi i find wi-fi works the best but you can also use it with your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in my password for my Wi-Fi here. And once I do that, I'll hit join. And then it will connect me to my internet here so I can go through the rest of the process. Here, the next menu says it will take a few minutes, but generally takes 10 to 15 seconds. And then I should be able to go ahead and get to the next step in the setup process here. And then, of course, data and privacy. Basically, if you want to read through this, but you don't have any other option besides hitting continue. And then now you have the option to choose if you want to set this phone up for yourself or if a child under 12 or younger. So I'll just choose it for myself, but that's an option for parental controls. Face ID, you do want to set this up. It'll just scan your face by looking at the camera here. You'll hit continue. I won't do that specifically, but highly recommended you use that in order to unlock Apple Pay and other uh, purchases and subscribing to services. You can always come back in the setting to set it up, which I'll select here. You want to put in a passcode here. You have the option to do a six digit or a four digit if you click on more option, numerical and such. So I'll just do a four digit here and go with something super basic here. But you get the idea here. You want to be as you know, don't don't pick one, two, three, four like I am, but of course you get the idea here, but you'll need to have that selected. And then now the next important part comes, which is around transferring your data and apps if you have it from a previous device. It can be an Android device, as you can see here, or if you have an iCloud backup, which most people will have if you use an iPhone, you can use that method. If you have another iPhone next to you, you can do a side-by-side -side transfer. If you have a backup on your Mac or PC on iTunes, you can also connect it in and it will load up that data. Or you can simply start to do a, a clean slate by not transferring anything. Now, the next thing you'll get is prompted to do is your Apple ID. It's important to sign into Apple ID if you have one already, so you can use all the Apple services, but you'll need Apple ID in order to download apps, uh, to be able to utilize all of their Apple services like iMessage, FaceTime, and all of that. And if you don't have one, you can click on that, create one for free, which is available for you to create one, or if you forgot your password, you can reset it. Or you can always come back in the setting later, which I'll do here just so I can get through the whole process here. And then I'll hit agree to the terms and condition. And then it's going to ask you if you want to update your phone automatically. I'll just hit continue here. iMessage and FaceTime basically just giving you that, you know, people can contact you on iMessage on FaceTime using your phone number or email address. I'll just hit continue here. Location services, of course, you want to enable location services. We're going to be using like maps and other apps that require your location so either or you can always turn this on now turn it off later or turn it off now and turn it back on later in your settings a uh, siri which is a voice assistant uh, if you're familiar with apple devices that's what they use you can pretty much click on it and it'll ask you to say five different commands to set up siri go ahead and do that if you like to do that i'll just set it up later in the setting screen time if you want to get a weekly report of how much time you're spending on your device on certain things it will give you that report you can hit continue here iphone analytics if you want to share your analytics with apple so they can improve the product you can share it i generally don't it's a personal preference then light or dark mode you can select that continue 
Um, and then you have the option for here, emergency SOS and then crash detection and then SOS satellite, which are all the options. And we get to welcome to iPhone. Now, my phone already has a eSIM on it, so that's why it's working. But if you don't have an eSIM, what you wanna do in order to activate an eSIM is simply go into your settings here, go to cellular data or cellular here, and then here it will give you the option to add eSIM. So you can add multiple eSIM, right? To add an eSIM, it's really simple. You click on add eSIM. And this is the menu that will come up in the process if you don't have already an eSIM on the phone. If an eSIM comes with your phone, if you're getting the phone from the carrier, you won't have to do this step because it should automatically already load up that eSIM for you. But if you need to transfer it, you can click on this one. And then if you have an iPhone with iOS 16 or later and you hold it next to it, it will transfer all that information over. Now, the other option you have is if you get a QR code from your carrier, you can scan it. So a QR code, if you get one from your carrier, right, it's gonna, they're gonna email it to you most likely. It'll be looking like this. And all you'll do is just scan it like this and it will have the data that it needs in order to activate your phone service here. Of course, this is a dummy code, that's why it's not working. And if you don't get a, e, a QR code, you can also enter this information that your carrier can provide manually as well in order to get your phone service. But after you do that, you pretty much will get uh, to your to the screen where it tells you your plan and then some things you have like the information here that's listed. And that's it about setting up your iPhone 15 Plus. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.